Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today is, what was I gonna say, it's August. Today is November 6th, I believe. And I got a few packages that I'm really, really excited about. What is this? Why does it feel so heavy? I can't remember what I got. Anyways, um, like I remember, but like I don't understand why it's so heavy. Anyways, I'm gonna open up these packages. I got a scissor over here. Even though know, the scissors for hair, but whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. Let's see what this is. I'm gonna open up the biggest package. By the way, welcome in for those of you who are new viewers. I'm like really excited because I am for the past few months I've been trying to figure out like a routine trying to figure out what I should do for this health journey fitness journey weight loss journey blah 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 what is this oh okay 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 that's why it's so heavy I'm like why is it so heavy a few years ago um a year after I had my son I started to do the 21 day fix so I ended up getting it and I'm gonna start it over because I feel like that's like the routine that helped the most for me and now i'm like in a completely different time in my life where i feel like it'll just be different and i won't i'll make sure not to get overwhelmed not to get bored of it and all of that so i'm excited about it we shall see what happens but i ended up actually purchasing some carpet cleaner um, this is also for like my couch because the cushions on my couch like the ones you lean on you can't take them off like the cushions that you sit on i can like unzip it and wash it in the washer and they're currently in the dryer right now but i'm gonna see if this works for my couch and this set comes with four so that's why it was so heavy so let's see if that works and then over here is my 21 day fix which i'm gonna start on monday today is friday anyways like they have like monday like cardio monday or whatever i forgot what it was called but anyways this is how the box looks and it says peach body and i also do herbalife so i'm still gonna be taking my shakes i'm pretty sure my shakes get here today actually so i'm excited oh my gosh y'all i haven't seen this in so long so it comes with the eating plan which i used to do as well and i'm happy about it because i have the containers and i just feel like it just it's what has worked for me and i want to try it again so let's see oh, okay so this is how it looks when it opens. I'm gonna use my PlayStation. It says these come with CDs. Um, okay, and then when you open it, oh, total body cardio fixes. Monday, Tuesday's upper fix, Wednesday is lower fix, Thursday is Pilates fix. I don't remember. I think, oh no, they have a day for every day. Totally forgot about that. Friday, cardio fix, Saturday, dirty 30, and then Sunday, yoga fix, which yoga, it literally looks easier than what it is because I tried yoga for the first time when I tried this a few years ago, and it's no joke. Anyway, so it's here. I'm over here thinking I was gonna have a break, but you literally have to work out every day. And this is what I used to do five years ago, and I saw amazing results, so I'm really excited. I'm a little nervous. Should I just start today? I don't know. I have a few things to do today. Like, I have to clean my bathroom. And I want to clean Jericho's room. And then later on today, I have to go to my sister's house. Because they're leaving on a little, like, mini road trip. And I'm going to be with her dog. So, yeah. I don't know. I can still do it over there. But we shall see. Oh, what is this? They got abs fix. Yo, they have like so much other stuff like 30 minute abs and bare legs. They didn't have this when I was doing it. And then plyo fix, which is also super hard. <laughs> is there anything else in here? Jeez. Oh, okay. And it comes in a, a resistance band as well. I remember this for um, Wednesday, which is, let's see, what was Wednesday? I remember it was on Wednesdays. It's for Pilates fix. So yeah, I'm like really excited, you guys. I'm so excited, but like I said, nervous at the same time because this ish is no joke. But what I like about this is that they have um, like moderate versions of it. Like the instructor's name is Autumn and then she has like two other people who are going along with her and one of them is doing the moderate version. So yeah, alrighty. This is exciting. Okay, and then I, I bought the... I'm literally. <laughs> what happened, Kalia? Oh 
<laughs> okay. A lot of you guys ask if my kids fight. Like, of course my kids fight. <laughs> I have a six-year-old and a two-year-old and they're just a lot like my son is such a sweetheart but they be fighting like this girl be trying to like gang up on him by herself she'd be like trying to beat on him <sighs> you want stickers <sighs> yeah lately i've been feeling like i i like need i need like a vacation you guys like i'm like i need a vacation i need some mom time like There's a lot of things that like, you know, I've just been trying my best to figure out what to speak about on here and what I shouldn't. Like there's, I've been trying my best to learn from my mistakes and learn from how I felt during times where I would talk about certain things and how I felt after because of the energy that would come to me. Yeah, sometimes this is hard. <laughs> um because it's like i have so many of you guys that like are so awesome and i just wish that i can talk to you guys about certain stuff and then there's another there's another side of this where it's just like pure evil and just like people thinking that they know your life and y'all like let's just say i have reasons to you know not have mom time and and stuff like that like my sister can help or whatever but like i know there's people that are going to talk about co-parenting and stuff like that and there's like reasons for for me to do what i do you know and it's very difficult because i do need my time you know i need i need my time for myself and um shout out to all the single moms out there like this is like hard <laughs> you know like i love my babies so much my babies are my everything like they're my everything i'm so protective of them like so protective of them this video was like supposed to go another way but anyways i just like i'm just like holding my head right now anyways <clears throat> i'm good after this i'm gonna play some music and i'm just gonna clean my bathroom and just you know just not think about stuff because i'd be overthinking anyway so sorry about that y'all i just had like a moment and it sucks because i can't like speak about it you know like i just i, I can but i choose not to because i just don't y'all already know for, like for those of you who watch like you guys can read between the lines and so anyways i'm really excited for this and uh, oh, I actually got these containers on Amazon. I'm gonna put everything that I just mentioned down below And these are not the original 21 day fix cups, but they are the same size So in the eating plan it tells you this is not sponsored or nothing like that But I used to do this so in the eating plan It tells you depending on your weight how many calories you need to eat every day Like you literally have to like calculate a bunch of stuff like uh your weight times 11 equals your calorie baseline then you gotta add that to so and so like it's a lot like this is like very informative and then it tells you how much of each container you have to eat a day so this right here i like it because it literally says veggies on it and i remember like i was talking to my sister yesterday and telling her which one was which so like this is veggies and so depending on your weight you'll have like three or four of these a day or whatever the case may be this i believe is like carbs i can't remember but um it tells you in the eating plan oh yeah it says it <laughs> I totally forgot like i said like when i was doing the 21 day fix the cups were just like blank you know and like i said these are not the original ones so i really like this and this is a half cup and then these are seeds so like sunflower seeds this comes with a lot i like it so much anyway so i'm like super excited about this i don't know if i'm gonna start this today 
I'll see how I feel once I clean my house and just like, you know, have a therapeutic cleaning session to myself. I don't know if I'm gonna re record it, honestly. I just wanna like think and just let go. And even though I can't really let go because it's like literally things that are going on in my life. But you know, just think and talk to God and listen to music and clean, you know? So, <sighs> golly. Anyways, let me put this stuff away and start cleaning hey guys I'm back again so I'm feeling much better I was just on my YouTube and I just read this comment that I feel like I need to speak about so I feel like a lot of people don't speak about this type of stuff but um if for anybody who like is triggered by like domestic violence or just extreme violence in general then don't listen to this but it's like yeah let me just speak on it so she said, this is Nikia Hardy. She just said, off topic, I watch a lot of YouTube and I have to say you're a great mom. Thank you, by the way. Watching these other single moms quickly bringing men in the house and around their innocent children is so damn scary to me. I've been a single mom and I know it gets lonely. I totally get it, but please protect your daughters and sons for that matter. People, men and women so easily hide their sinister side, seriously. You see it so often in the news, a man killing, molesting, just doing the most horrific stuff. Continue to protect your family. You can find a way for adult time without having random men around your innocent babies. I wanted to speak on that and Okay, one second, my baby wants to do pee pee. So I just wanted to speak about like certain things that like get to me when it comes to even thinking about being serious with anybody. <laughs> like I had a few dates before, you know, I've met people, obviously things haven't worked out and I feel like it was just for fun. It was more for experience and also because I was lonely and I just wanted to have a little bit of fun and be around like a man presence and I finally got out of that and I'm glad that I did. This was like the summer after I got separated and it was okay, it was cool while it happened but as far as bringing someone around my kids, I've mentioned this to y'all before like I feel like I need to be a hundred percent like like y'all God has to give me a sign that this is the person for me in order for me to bring someone serious around my kids you know I feel like anybody who has been around my kids has always been people who are filled with love just light good energy who are great around the kids like whether it's friends or family like I'm not gonna have any type of toxicity around my kids which is why I feel like which is why I felt very it was very hard for me to um, see Kalia crying when her dad came like that shit was hard y'all and when I tell y'all regardless of anything like I was just so excited for them to have that time together but once again y'all like again regardless of anybody like I just can't have toxicity around my kids period I'm so overprotective of my kids y'all like I think about so much like look at the Chris Watts case like for those of you who don't know this was in 2018 a father a married man literally killed his wife and his two baby girls I think one was three and the other one was four and his wife was like four months pregnant and the way that he did it was so brutal but like this is literally their father so like you just never truly know somebody and that's the scary part for me is that like, damn, like, you know, one day I'm gonna really get out there and I'm gonna really feel like I'm ready to get out there and, you know, meet people. But like, you just don't know anybody. Like, there's so many qualities that I have like that a man has to check off before I even think about getting with somebody. And like right now, that's not, that's not my priority and I'm so happy I got to that place where I'm like girl you don't need nobody to be happy and I would never like bring anybody like around my kids who I don't truly know you know like whew. and then even like I remember watching this the Jodi Arias case too I mean they didn't have kids but she was literally effing around with this guy they were boyfriend and girlfriend at the time and then they became like 
you know a fling like they would just have sex and stuff obviously a lot of feelings were involved and she ended up sleeping over his house seeing that he was talking to other people and they're not even official like nothing regardless if they were official or not there was no reason for her to do this but like they she saw that she got mad and he when he was showering she literally stabbed him like over like 50 times i think more than that and then like did other shit after the fact like she like just continued to do shit to him after he was already dead so like i've watched a lot of true crime and when i tell y'all like once again i just will not ever have toxicity around my kids like ever y'all like <sighs> ever <laughs> i'm so uh not nah, like I get it like she said like uh don't get me wrong y'all there are times where i get lonely you know there have been like there has been someone who i felt like had potential as far as like future wise but i felt like me and that person and this is just me being keeping it a buck like i just 100 was not ready for it and i know this person wasn't ready for it either and it's just not the right time and like i said like god will let me know when it's time for me to start looking for somebody or wh whatever the case may be or just bring that person to me however it is if i'm like in the supermercado or something a case supermarket and then i just need somebody or if i already know the person or whatever the case may be like i just y'all i can't like i i i just you guys will never see me meeting somebody and being with that person in my house like him staying over like that's just not gonna happen on my channel and you guys and it's not gonna happen in my life and when i say that i mean like someone who i'm not serious with like you know someone that i've known for a few freaking weeks months like anybody who is on this channel again is gonna be somebody who is like very important to me if i even want to share him period and i'm like i said i'm just so happy that i got to a point in my life where i'm like girl you are happy once again by yourself even if you get lonely and y'all it's funny because yesterday i had a moment <laughs> i had a little moment i was just like my kids were in jericho's room i've been trying to transition kalia to stay in jericho's room and like i had a moment where i was in bed by myself and i just started to cry <laughs> like i just felt I just felt lonely but regardless of my feelings of how i feel i would never put myself in a position to bring somebody again like regardless of toxicity or anything scary like that or like not trusting anybody but i don't want to put whoop, my battery died but regardless of all of that stuff like being scared to trust somebody and bringing them around my kids or anything like that like i'm even nervous to get into something with somebody introducing them to the kids and then you know for that person to god forbid god forbid leave my life like anybody who's coming into my life and meeting my kids and being around my kids is gonna be somebody who i can dead ass see like a future with like no fucking red flags and like i said you know never really tr truly know somebody but i have faith that god's gonna let me know because i'm working on myself you know right now i'm truly trying my best to just work on myself and obviously my kids are when i speak about myself y'all know my kids are like up there like my kids are main priority but like i'm working on myself and i have faith that he's gonna let me know you know but as far as once again bringing somebody into our lives i just don't ever i would never get with somebody feel so much for them within a few weeks and then let's say bring them into our life and my kids loving them especially jericho like especially jericho and then it not working out and then me having to explain that whole situation when we already have a situation going on right now with his actual father and i can't explain certain things that are going on right now and i can't explain things that have happened since we left like i can't explain certain things that have occurred to him so just imagine bringing somebody else in and it's just a lot for me so i'd rather just stay to myself and if he asks his questions about you know marriage and stuff like that because he still does he literally there's times where he asks me about me and his dad like he actually asks that a lot and i have to explain to him like i like a six-year-old you know like oh you know me and daddy 
we just you know we're not like we don't love each other like that anymore but you know i'm just gonna always love him because he's your daddy and because he's like oh but what what if something happens to him like you're not gonna love him i'm like i would never want nothing to happen to him you know and it's hard to explain that whole relationship situation with him so yeah there's just so much that goes into dating and being with somebody that i just can't right now like i'm not 100 ready for it at all and even if i'm lonely or even if um anything like i i will put their feelings before mine and that's it point blank period and once again i cannot stress this enough like my kids will always be around people who are filled with love who just give them so much love who actually make them a priority like who you can tell love to be around them and who they feel safe around and who i feel safe for them to be around you know yeah that's enough of that i didn't even know that this video was gonna go this way but i saw that comment i was like i need to speak on about that because once again like anybody out there who feel lonely or who is with somebody that you just see red flags but there's just so much love that you have for this person but there's just also like toxicity and you just don't want to admit it to yourself like i felt like i was like that for a while but that's why i'm not in the relationship that i was in because regardless of how much love that there was unconditional love like i can't have my, my kids be around that type of energy and for them to see either of us unhappy or for them to see me weak like i'm not i just i know their safety and their happiness is everything to me so anybody out there that want to be talking shit because i've seen a lot of people hitting me up telling me about this one video that's super irrelevant i'm not even gonna mention their name because they're irrelevant if y'all if y'all find it y'all find it but like they literally made a thumbnail of me and my ex my ex was crying like and i'm pretty sure the video was like of him trying to be the victim and and for years people have been hitting me up saying like oh you think you're the victim and stuff and i'm like bro like <laughs> i finally got to a place where i'm like bro if you y'all can think what y'all want to think at the end of the day nobody's walking my shoes nobody knows what happens behind closed doors there has been a lot that has been on this channel and that y'all have heard and stuff but like at the end of the day regardless we choose what we want to put on here period like y'all still don't know the whole thing like what i'm going through behind closed doors and period <laughs> so don't get me wrong, I was, I'm only human and I wanted to click on it, but I'm like, one, I don't want to bring that energy to myself where I get mad about what someone else is saying about my life when, bitch, how are you going to tell me how my life is? Like, are you me? Like, no. But um, I don't want to get in a negative vibe and get mad and, and have my New York come out. Like, no. So, but I guess that's what comes with being a public figure, you know? so i guess i'm doing something right but i don't understand that i never understood when people say you're doing something right because people are talking about you and i'm like well i don't really like i don't want that i really don't care like but i guess i don't know i don't know i would rather y'all like just think i'm irrelevant and not speak about me but clearly i'm relevant to y'all so even if you say i'm not clearly i'm on your mind you know which is weird but anyway um, I'm gonna stop laughing <laughs> and I'm gonna put a bunch of music on right now I've been saying that for the past hour and I haven't put any music on but I do need to fold some clothes I have this bag of clothes with boxes and shit that I need to throw out and I got the main the recent boxes that I just opened that I need to <sighs> throw out and yeah let me clean for real Kiara oh my viewfinder it's so weird like picking up my camera and not putting my viewfinder which is this right here let me show y'all this right here anyways i know i'm not the only one but i'm i'm interested to know what y'all put on your i'm about to clean my uh tub well i'm about to let it marinate right so i'm intrigued to know what you guys put on your tub right now i'm just picking up some toys that the kids mainly Kalia plays with when she's showering i like to marinate my tub with ajax i was gonna say ajax with ajax but when i went to the store the last time that i bought ajax they didn't have ajax so i had to get pipe comment 
And then I also like to, let me see if I even have other stuff. Bam! I'm just gonna spray this as well. And just let that baby marinate. Mmm, this smells so good. This is what I'm using, the Lysol Lemon Breeze. Mmm. And then, we gotta clean the toilet, but I gotta throw this bag out. Got my garbage over here. Okay, come on. Thanks for bringing that in here, Kali. Your friends see you too. Gonna think there's something, something, something. I'm gonna love you better. Alexa, pause. You guys, so I finished getting ready. Hi! Hi. Finished getting ready. I'm about to do Kalia's hair really quick because uh, her hair is a little messy. Where is her stuff? Where did I put it? So I grabbed it. Anyways, her hair's a little messy. What time is it? It's almost two. Kalia, come over here. We gotta hurry up. Come over here. My brother-in-law is gonna pick me up any minute now. Oh my gosh. That's what happens when you go into the shower with makeup on. I literally only had mascara, but yeah. This is how I'm looking. Just quick, all black, everything, outfit, like always. And then I'm just gonna throw like a jacket on or something. I bet we That's Kalia's before. And then after will be in the next clip. Bam! And that's Kalia after. Say hi! Mm. See how she's playing with the hair lotion. Say hi! Lotion. Lotion. I just did like a side ponytail on this side and then the other ponytail on the other side. She kept moving, but that's what we got going on right now. Right, Mama? Hi. She's my into this, trying to take it out, but I locked it so she won't put any on her hand. Look at this, you guys. Right before I started doing her hair, she made this mess, so I'm having her clean it all up. Clean up, clean up. All right, you guys, so now we're just waiting on my brother-in-law. I am sitting on the couch, which I am cleaning the, the cushions and then later when I get back home I'm probably gonna scrub this with what I showed you guys because this is like, I literally have cleaned it with different things but the stains just won't come out like, anyways, but yeah we're just waiting, my brother-in-law should be calling me anytime soon and then we're gonna go to my sister's house and I'll probably be there for a little bit um, and then I gotta go, <sighs> guess what, y'all gotta go to the store again because the other day I went grocery shopping for a lot of stuff and then I totally forgot to get like potatoes and rice because I was like low on that. And now that I'm doing like the 21 day fix or whatever, I'm gonna look through the meal plan. Actually, I could, should take it with me. And then I'm gonna make a little list um, for that because I need like lettuce and just a whole bunch of different stuff that I used to eat back in the day. So yeah, I might go to the store today again. And then, Later on tonight, I'm gonna bring Casey to my sister's house and we'll probably stay there with Coco for the night. So yeah. So yeah, I'm just looking through this little uh, booklet. Kalia's no, mad nosy. It's mine. No, it's not yours. What are you talking about? Here, take it. I don't want that. Me? That's yours. That's mine? Mm-hmm. This is mommy's. Mm. <laughs> she loves books. Right here, I have to calculate like things for my weight so that I can see how many calories um, I have to eat a day and how much of each of those little containers I need to eat. And then in here, it literally, mira esta niña, goodness gracious. And then right here, it tells you like what belongs in the purple container, which is for fruits. And then it tells you like what fruits you can eat. And then it's literally like that for like each container. It literally tells you what to eat for proteins, um, get mass, for your carbs. Like you can have rice and stuff like that. I remember having like the un Uncle Ben's long green rice. What else? Then this is health, healthy fats like avocado, cashews, peanuts, pistachios, which is awesome because I freaking love pistachios. Um, and then for your seeds and dressings, they show you which ones you can have there. Substitutes. And then it has like different like recipes in the back for like chicken and 
stuff like that. So I'm excited, y'all. Back again after five years. Wow. <laughs> Look at that little one over there. What are you doing, Papa? Cleaning Theo Simon's car. He literally asked Theo Simon if he can clean his car. <laughs> so that's what he's doing. Wow, good job. Wait, how did he get the holes in the The holes are right there. Wow, good job, Jericho. Look at my baby. Knocked out. Oh, hi. Hi, Papa. Go back to sleep. Papa, go back to sleep. Oh, my goodness. Look who I have with me. Okay, no, no, no. Don't lick me. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to have the OD sniffles because I'm actually going to take her home. Sit back. And I hear that your seatbelt's about to lock. So fix it again before we... We drive off. Oh, got a wedgie. Alrighty, we are about to head home. And Coco's in our um, Tia's car right now. And Coco's about to go in our house. Yep, so I decided to just bring her because I don't know, I just want to be in my home. Yes, puppy. I want to go bike. Oh, you did? Yeah, because you guys were outside. Look at Coco's nose all up in the camera. So we just got home. Coco's over here. She's just sniffing around. I gotta put the cushion covers on the thingy majigger. I just wanna lay down and watch Sister Sister. I'm like so Hello? lazy to put that stuff together right Can now though. Coco, get out of the toilet. She literally has Coco. water. Coco. How many of you guys? Hi. 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 How many of you guys have put up your Christmas trees, you guys? Let me know. Let me know. So you guys, it's currently 10:30 p.m. and today is November 6th. I don't know if I mentioned that earlier, um, but yeah, I just finished editing and I feel like I spoke so much. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. You guys know I be talking. I think of a question, I answer it, then I go on a tangent, and then I just start t thinking about another topic, and then that's just me though. So if you guys are new viewers, just stay tuned for that because because I just be talking about everything that's on my mind. I don't know if you guys can see. I'm an overthinker. I think so much. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys stay safe. Try your best to be positive. Try your best to be happy. And I got up in the background. Let me pause that. Um, Kalia knocked out. I hope you guys um, have a fantastic night. Stay safe. Have a great weekend. And you guys will see me later. Peace out.